George Papadopoulos has a new book out called Deep State Target, How I Got Caught in the Crosshairs of the Plot to Bring Down President Trump. Probably the most accurate title of a book in a long time. He joins us tonight. George, thanks very much for coming on. Um, so briefly describe your experience with the woman you believe was sent to spy on the Trump campaign by the Obama administration. Sure, that's a great question. And uh, I received an unsolicited email uh, in September of 2016 from a man named Stefan Halper, who uh, was suggesting that he wanted to pay me $3,000 to write a report on uh, energy security questions that I was a recognized expert on at the time in Israel, uh, Turkey, and uh, Cyprus. And I looked him up. I'd never heard of him before. I just saw that he had, been, he had worked in four U.S. Uh, administrations, and he was a professor at Cambridge. So I accepted his offer. He flew me to London, where he paid a five-star hotel, my flight. And uh, he said, before I meet with you, I need you to meet my assistant. And he put this assistant in an email chain along with me. And I saw her name was Azra Turk. I recognized it as Turkish, uh, which was a bit suspicious right away because um, my policy uh, positions throughout my entire career were very hostile to Turkey. So when I noticed a Turkish name, I didn't understand why she'd be involved. Uh, but anyways, I went and I met with her, and uh, she was very suggestive, as you can understand, um, younger, you know, very flirtatious. And I right away understood that this wasn't a Cambridge uh, assistant. And, uh, you know, she barely spoke English. She was very flirty and was trying to do two things. One, to extract information about my professional connections uh, in the Middle East, and two, to see if uh, I had inf any information that she could potentially extract from me about Trump in Russia, which of course is nonsense. And uh, so anyways, after I meet with her, she is then uh, introduced to me again the next day uh, with Stefan Halper, where she goes from this uh, suggestive young lady to now pouring us coffee, and uh, Stefan Halper is very belligerent. I explain it in my book. Um, I, uh, how belligerent he is, how he invited me to basically uh, castigate me about my policy positions. And of course, Azra Turk then took me to dinner and was just basically trying to extract information. I was very suspicious. And, uh, you know, from that moment, I knew there was something wrong and I was laughing about it. But now, of course, the New York Times reported that uh, she was some sort of agent, but I don't think she was FBI, I think she was CIA. But she was dispatched by the Obama administration. Barack Obama was the president of the United States, led the executive branch, including CIA and FBI and every other agency, to spy on, in effect, the Trump campaign. Am I missing something, or is that, is that what happened? That's absolutely what happened, and I, and I want to make something very uh, clear here. Uh, I don't think uh, President Trump was um, tweeting about U.K. interference out of the blue for no reason last week. Because, uh, let me explain why, the day I met with Stefan Halper and Azra Turk in London, I was invited by the British Ministry of Foreign Affairs to meet with them at their offices, including with uh, Tobias Elwood, who was a number two at the time under Boris Johnson. So clearly when the New York Times uh, suggested in their reporting today that the British were, um, were told of this operation, I believe the British actually were actively spying on me as well. And I think part of what President Trump was uh, tweeting last week about the British spying was about this uh, involvement and this operation in London. So I guess we're, we have a lot more to find out. I would just remind our view, I mean, you end up going to jail briefly, correct? Yes, I did. I went for yeah. 11 nights. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you go, to, you go to jail. You didn't spy for Russia. It turns out you didn't do anything wrong. And your life is destroyed. But we shouldn't figure out how this happened because why? I don't know. George, I, congratulations. I think we definitely need book. to find out. Y you think? Yes, I think we do. Um, and your book is a good way uh, to start that process. Thanks for joining us tonight. George Thanks Papadopoulos. a lot for having me. Thanks a lot for having me, Tucker. Thank you. Of course.